it feels very, very strange going through my day-to-day -day life when so much of my energy in my daily life for the past, like, four months has just been trying to be stable and be happy and, like, not succumb to my mental illness, like, trying to attack my brain. Pixie Locks just opened up about self-harm and her disordered eating relapse, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about why she's a, an amazing, amazing mental health recovery role model. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Before I jump into why Pixie Locks is amazing, uh, two quick announcements. All of you who are over on Patreon in the $5 tier and up, I just uploaded a brand new video. Go check it out. I got some backlash on a video yesterday and I just made a video talking about my thoughts on it. Second announcement, why aren't you following me on Instagram? Why are you not following me on Instagram? So real quick story, I was live streaming on Thanksgiving and then I saw Rachel Oates was live streaming so I hopped in over on her live stream and yeah, it was just hilarious and I had to clip it and I put it up on my Instagram and here it is. Basically, he, he talks, um, about a bunch of really, really important topics and he tends to relate it to a lot of kind of like relevant stuff on YouTube as well, which I think is really cool. Um, I've been watching his channel for quite a while. I had no idea he watched my videos as well until he like mentioned me in one of his the other day and I was like, that's me. It was, it was really odd for me. Um, but he, he's a really great guy and I think one of the probably best things that he does is talking about like mental health issues in everyone, including men, and like raising awareness of that and helping people understand how to get help and why they need to get help and why that isn't a bad thing, you know? And I just, I think he's a really cool guy who does some really good stuff, you know? Like, oh my God, you're right here. Oh, sorry, hello. Hi, thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize you were watching. <laughs> Real a bit embarrassed now. No, I'm, I'm up for a collab anytime, seriously. <laughs> Promise I wasn't just saying all this nice stuff because you're here. <laughs> so yeah, Rachel's awesome and I hope her and I can collab soon. She's an amazing, amazing woman. If you haven't checked her channel out, go check it out. She's awesome. But anyways, um, so Pixie Locks. How do I even know who Pixie Locks is? Um, well, I just stumbled across her channel and her most recent video was talking about her relapse with self-harm and her disordered eating. And there's so much that we could take from this and I, I especially want to make this video, especially coming off the video I made yesterday, like, it's just so inspiring. So like, I just wanna talk about a few clips from Pixie Locks' video, and I highly suggest you go check out the full video after this. So Pixie Locks is a DIY YouTuber, and she does a bunch of cool stuff. I haven't gone through her whole catalog. Um, but anyways, I saw this video, and her channel trailer is actually about her getting a tattoo to cover up some of her self-harm scars, and she was actually in recovery. But anyway, she just opened up about, you know, a relapse that she had. So this first clip right here is really, really cool. I love that, I love that. Like, those of you who have been subscribed to my channel, like, I keep talking about this over and over and over again. Like, I don't care where you get help, just go get help, and I wish more YouTubers were like Pixie Locks, where they say, go get professional help. Just go, go to the doctor, go to your therapist, join a support group, do something. Support groups aren't professional help, unless, well, some of them are run by therapists. But I'm glad that she's encouraging people to go seek professional help. I was okay for a really long time, and so I like stopped going to therapy. I kept taking my meds, but I kind of like, since I was so happy and okay, I didn't need my coping mechanisms anymore. And then whenever it hit me like a train, I was extremely unprepared for how to deal with these feelings again. Oh my God, oh my God. I can relate to this so, so, so much. So I'm in recovery myself from drug addiction, alcoholism, but also, you know, my anxiety and my depression and, you know, some of the other symptoms of emotional dysregulation that I've struggled with. But anyways, like this is just so common and, a lot of you watching this can probably relate. Like, 
Things are going good. Like things are going good and you just stop doing what you're supposed to do. We'll stop taking our medications or we'll stop going to therapy. Like, why am I doing this if I'm feeling good? Like I do this, I used to do this all the time. And it is such a, a crazy thing because it sneaks up on you, the brain tricks us. Like for example, with my anxiety medications, I've talked about in another video about how I lost my mind at work because I had a panic attack because things were going good. I'm like, I don't need these medications anymore, uh, right? And then I, lo I lost it, right? And the main thing I wanna just talk about for all of you is learn from this. Like, be proactive about your mental health. Like, one of the biggest mistakes a lot of us make is that we only, we only treat our mental health when things are going bad, right? Like, imagine if you only practiced a fire drill when there was a fire right? That wouldn't be too good, okay? So when it comes to our mental health, this is why, you know, you don't just meditate when things are going bad, like set up the habit, you know what I'm saying? I kind of forgot that I was diagnosed with MDD <laughs> because it went away. But the thing with depression, especially if you are diagnosed with major depressive disorder, is that it comes back because it's in your brain. So she's talking about like, it comes back, it comes back. And that's something that I always try to remember. So like I mentioned in a video I did yesterday, like this is not our identity, right? Our mental illness is not our identity, but we have to keep it in the forefront of our mind. Because if I forget about my mental illnesses, I, I can relapse, right? I make the analogy uh, that it's kind of like being a diabetic, right? So my dad, he's a diabetic. And if he forgets that he's a diabetic, he can, he can do something that really screws him up, right? By eating the wrong foods. So I always try to keep my recovery in the forefront of my mind. But the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing about all this, and I don't know if Pixie Locks will ever see this video, but for all of you, like, here is the trick. Here's the key to recovery is, like, I love how Pixie Locks is very self-aware of what happened. Like, in addiction recovery, we often talk about how the relapse happens weeks or months before you know you actually relapse, right? So my tip and suggestion to everybody is to learn from it, look back at it, see what you did, what you did not do, so that way we don't make those same mistakes again. Like there are there are no losses, there are only learning experiences. Okay. The relapsing has been the hardest part, especially with the fact that I got my magical girl tattoo and it was such a celebration and it was so emotional and I was so proud to have overcome all these things. And I don't wanna say that I haven't overcome them, but I'm going through them again. And here's the other thing, like she talks about feeling down and I get it, I get it, I get it so, so much. Like when I went through my relapses, I felt down, I felt terrible. But here's the thing, don't think about what you lost, think about what you gained. Like two years is a long time. Two years for self-harm recovery, two years for eating disorder recovery is a very, very long time. Like if you have any type of these like compulsive addiction type of mental illnesses, like if you even make it through a day, that is a long time. So don't think about what you lost, think about what you gained, right? Because if you did it once, you know, you know you can do it again. But I felt like when I made that video, so many people were like, thank you, this is inspiring, this is helping me realize that I can get through this too, and that like, I can also friggin' get through the other end, and like, thank you for showing me that people can heal. And I feel like, I feel like, I'm a bad example now. I feel like I'm not a good role model anymore. Right here, right here. This this kind of bumps me out. So she she was talking about how she, you know, she put herself in a place to be a role model model about this stuff and she feels like she let people down. No, 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 no. So there's this Excellent song by Macklemore. Macklemore, for those of you who don't know, he's a rapper, he's in recovery, he's had some relapses, and he has a song called Starting Over. And one of the, the main lines in it is, if I can be an example of getting sober, then I can be an example of starting over. And like, absolutely, absolutely. So to relate this to you guys, like, and this is why Pixie Locks is a great role model for mental health recovery. Like me, when I went into like meetings for my addiction recovery, right? I would meet people who were like, oh, you know, I got sober my first time, right? I got sober 10 years ago and I just never picked up again, right? Like, that's cool. That's great. Like you seem like you're like just some random freak of nature, right? 
But the, the stories that inspired me more than anything, and the reason why Pixie Lock's story inspires me more than anything, is because I'm somebody who's relapsed. I had countless relapses. So when I see somebody like Pixie Locks, I've seen somebody who's relapsed, and by the way, relapse doesn't have to be a part of your story, but there's guys like me, there's women out there too, who get inspired by it. Because people like Pixie Locks show me they show a guy like me that even if you go down, you can get back up and do this thing again, right? I have seen countless people, countless people who have relapsed and they came back stronger than ever. And that is what inspires me, okay? What doesn't inspire me is when people fall down and they don't have the ability to get back up. And I hope that they find that way and are able to share that experience. But this is why Pixie Locks is such an awesome role model because she is not, she is not giving up. But anyways, there, there's another part in her video where she talked about, I think it was this video about, you know, one thing that she doesn't like about the influencer culture is that people are always just posting all the good things and, and you know, everybody has, you know, the right to, you know, share what they wanna share and everything. But, you know, I, I, I love people like Pixie Locks who are willing to open up and get vulnerable with their audience. Like, you guys, it helps so many people. It helps so, so many people. And I know so many of you who are subscribed to me, you've started your own blogs, you've started your own channels. And I love that, I love that so much. And it's so refreshing to see a big YouTuber like Pixie Locks, like open up about this, like not just her successes, not just her recovery successes, but also, her relapse, like that's huge, that's huge. Because like, we're all human. We're all going through this thing. Our mental illness is nothing that defines us. It's nothing that we should be ashamed of, right? We're not perfect people. We're gonna have our ups, we're gonna have our downs, but what are we gonna do about it? What's the solution that we're gonna get into? So what she talks about, like, girl, mm. <laughs> Pixie Locks, if you're watching this, like that's what I'm talking about. She talked about the problem, but she talked about the solution too. She recognized all the things that went wrong that led to this relapse, and then she talks about how she's going to start going back to treatment and going back to therapy, and I hope, I hope that inspires some of you out there, all right? But anyways, I did not show anywhere near the entire video. It's in a very, it's a very powerful video. I'm gonna link it down in the description as well as up in the info cards. Please go check it out. Go show her some love on that video. Tell her that you're proud of her, whatever you gotta do. If you're into the type of stuff she does on her channel, go subscribe. Like, like real quick, just real quick, like there's so much on that channel that she does that is not in my realm of things, but like, when I was just checking through some of her like more vlog style videos, like she has a very, very awesome personality. Like, so I subscribe to her and like, I'm just gonna watch and just, you know, just for some personality and some uplifting stuff. And maybe we'll hear about her recovery journey this time and everything. So go check her out, go subscribe and all that. But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments below. Like either A, are you somebody who's relapsed in whatever realm it is and you've gotten back up let me know about it in the comments. Or are you somebody like me um, who gets inspired by stories of people who have get, uh, gotten knocked down and got back up again like what Pixie Locks is doing, all right? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And everybody remember at the $5 tier and up, there was a brand new exclusive Never before seen video over on Patreon, go check it out. And if you would like to sign up for Patreon, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be inspired today, and I'll see you next time.